Anna, can you hear my voice? Gianna, Gianna. Ventriloquism is not your forte. Let's move on. Hi friends, I'm Mr. Matt. And I'm Miss Gianna. And welcome to our awesome announcements. Did you guys all remember to bring your Lowe's and Fishes dollars for the store today? I did. Me and my friend worked together to buy a whole bunch of stuff. Well, I brought all of my Lowe's and Fishes and I had a whole suitcase full and I spent every single one of them. I helped so many people. That's amazing. How many did you have? Like, well, it wasn't a hundred. It was like way more than that. And my briefcase was like only this big. It was actually a Ziploc bag. Okay. I brought a hundred. Okay, fine. I brought a hundred. Okay. And I made sure that I earned three Lowe's and Fishes dollars every single week. And so I've been saving these for a long time. So remind me, how do you earn Lowe's and Fishes dollars? Well, there are three ways. Mm -hmm. You can bring a friend to church or memorize the Bible verse or read your Bible three times in the week. And if you do all three, you get three dollars. Fantastic, great job, Mr. Matt, great job. Thank you. <laughs> but you know what I love the best? What? Is that we are helping people, not only here in Calgary, but in our in Canada and around the world. All around the world. That's right. Mm -hmm. And we also need to remember to bring in our money for our offering project. Mm -hmm. So make sure you hand that into your leaders, like right now. Exactly, because this is the last week to collect for our offering project. So let's all do our best. Mm -hmm. And that's all we have for you guys today. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Hi, I'm Ava. Hi, I'm Milana, and we're so glad that you're here today. Are you okay, Ava? Uh, well, I made like a really big mistake. Oh. Do, do you want to tell me about it? Sometimes talking helps. I, I can't, I can't, I can't tell you. Oh, okay, well, um, when you're ready to tell me, I'm here. Uh, I, I broke the pickle jar. You, you broke the, uh, oh dear. And the juice got all over my brother's homework. See, here it is, smell it, oh. Oh, yeah, it it does smell a little bit uh, pickly. But, but, but I think it's pretty minor. Well, that's not the mistake I'm upset about. I mean, it's a sad thing, but it gets, it gets worse than that. Really? I lied to my mom about it. Oh, I see. And I don't really know what I'm gonna do when my mom finds out. She may never trust me again. Well, I, I don't know, I, I think she will eventually. It, it may help to tell her the truth and, and if you do it right away and ask her for forgiveness for lying, you know, if you think you lost her trust, you can do that and, and that will restore your relationship. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. Well, our story today is about how God restores our relationship with Him. That means He fixes it. So why don't we check it out and after we can talk about your whole pickle mess. Okay. The Israelites disobeyed God, so God handed them over to their enemies, the Philistines. But not all of the Israelites disobeyed God. Manoah and his wife still worshipped Him. One day, the angel of the Lord appeared to Manoah's wife and told her she would have a son. God had special instructions for the baby's life. He should never cut his hair or drink wine or beer. God said, your son is going to save the Israelites from the Philistines. Manoah's wife named her son Samson. God gave Samson great strength. When Samson grew up, he wanted to marry a Philistine woman. He went to her town to talk to her. As he traveled, a young lion jumped out at him. Samson killed the lion with his bare hands. Later, Samson traveled to marry the woman. Samson found the lion's carcass. Bees had made honey in the carcass. Samson scooped some honey into his hands and gave some to his parents. The Philistines sent 30 men to help Samson prepare the wedding feast. He told them a riddle. Out of the eater came something to eat, and out of the strong came something sweet. Samson was talking about the lion and the honey, but none of the men could solve the riddle. They asked Samson's new wife for help. 
Samson's wife cried until Samson told her the answer to the riddle. Then Samson's wife told the men the answer. Samson had been tricked. He was angry and he left his wife. When Samson went back to get his wife, she wasn't there. Samson was so mad that he caught 300 foxes. He tied their tails together with a torch. The foxes burned up the Philistines' fields. The Philistines went to find Samson to punish him. Samson escaped to another city. He fell in love with a woman named Delilah. The Philistines told Delilah, Get Samson to tell you why he is so strong. We will pay you. Delilah asked Samson why he was so strong. She tested him with seven fresh bowstrings and with new ropes. She tried weaving the braids on his head, but nothing took away Samson's strength. Delilah begged Samson to tell her the truth. So Samson did. If you cut my hair, I will not have my strength. Delilah sent for the Philistine leaders. When Samson was sleeping, a man cut his hair. Delilah woke him up. Samson, wake up. The Philistines are here to kill you. But Samson's strength was gone. The Philistines grabbed him and made him blind. They took him away in shackles and made fun of him. Samson's hair began to grow back. One day, the Philistines made Samson stand between two pillars in the temple of Dagon, the Philistines' gods. Samson cried out to God, Lord God, please remember me. Strengthen me once more. So God strengthened Samson. Samson pushed on the pillars and collapsed the temple. Samson and all of the 3,000 Philistines in it died. Isn't it great how God let Samson serve him again when Samson prayed for an opportunity to take down the Philistines with mighty strength one more time? Yeah, even though Samson had messed up, God was still with him. And that's the good news, because just like Samson made bad decisions, sometimes we make bad decisions. Sometimes we lie or cheat or we take things that aren't ours. Sometimes we say things that are mean, or we hurt people with our hands. Mm -hmm. But even when we don't make the right choices, God will restore or fix our relationship with Him when we ask for His forgiveness. God can restore? Yes, and that's our bottom line today. God can restore. He is always with us. Let's say that together. Okay. God, God can, can restore. restore. He, he is always with, with us. us. We all do things we know God says we shouldn't do. Uh, yeah, I know. That's the thing called sin. It's anything we think, say, or do that doesn't please God. And when we sin, we end up facing all sorts of consequences. Consequences? What are those? Consequences are what happens after you've done something. For example, if your mom founds out finds out <laughs> you lied to her, <laughs> you might have a consequence of losing a privilege or maybe even being grounded. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the same is true with our sin. See, God created a, a plan where we would be with him forever in heaven, where it's perfect and holy. And the consequence of our sin is separation from God because nothing that isn't perfect and holy can be in heaven. And so here we are left with a broken relationship. Oh, that's sad. But the good news is, is that God doesn't want us to be separated from him. So he provided a way to fix it. Really? How? Through Jesus. Jesus was God's amazing plan to restore our friendship with him. Jesus, God's son who came to earth around 2000 years ago. Mm -hmm. He lived a perfect life and then he died to take the punishment for all our sins which is death. Oh, oh. And he came back to life after three days and defeated death. What? Yeah. Oh. So Jesus said he is the way, the truth, and the life, and no one can come to God the Father except through him. He said that anyone who puts their faith in Jesus Christ will not die, but will have eternal life. Wow, so what you're saying is that if I put my faith in Jesus, since my sins are forgiven, then my friendship with God is not broken anymore? It's restored? Yes! Oh, how do I do that? Well, 
it's as simple as ABC. So let's say this together. A means admit. A, A means, means admit. admit. Tell God that you have sinned and ask him to forgive you for those sins. Okay, okay. Okay, say this one. B means believe. B, B means, means believe. believe. Believe that Jesus is God's son who died on the cross for me and rose three days later. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and then the last one, say this one with me. C means choose. C, C means, means choose. choose. Choose to follow Jesus each day asking him to change you and obey what he asks you to do in his word. Hey, if that's something you want to do, you can pray it with us right now. That's right. You can say this prayer after me, either out loud or quietly in your head because God hears you. So let's bow our heads together and close our eyes. Dear God, I know that I'm a sinner and I need your forgiveness. Thank you for forgiving me. I believe that Jesus is your son and that he paid the price for my sin. I choose to follow you today and every day for the rest of my life. Thank you for restoring our relationship. I love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. If you prayed that prayer for the very first time, we want to celebrate with you. So you need to make sure to tell your leader or the adult who brought you to church. That's right. And you can pray to ask God to forgive you anytime. You don't need to even do it at church. God is with you wherever you go. Hey, that's what our Bible verse this month is talking about. Let's have everyone stand up so we all stay, say it up. together. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, okay. let's do it. Have, have I not, not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. I think we should do that together one last time. Good idea. Okay. Okay, let's go. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Great job. You can all have a seat. Now I know that God is with me, even though I'm still afraid. He'll be with me when I tell my mom about how I lied because I don't want to get in trouble. Mm -hmm. That's a good plan. And I can come with you to tell your mom if you want. Oh, that'd be great. Thank you. Okay. We loved hanging out with you today and learning together how God can restore. Yes. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Choice sometimes.